Anglers are thrilled and cyclists are gutted at the Environment Court's decision affecting the route of their Around the Mountains cycle trail. Fish and Game has won its court battle with the Southland District Council seemingly ending the council's hopes of the trail following a 22km section of the Oriti River. The Oriti River upstream from here was expected to be a key section of the Around the Mountains cycle trail, but then came this week's Environment Court decision. Hi, I'm Ruby Spinkin in Vicargill, here outside the Southland District Council, who's building the trail and has been left with a dilemma. Do they go to court or do they find another route? We are very disappointed. Uh, there's been a lot of work done to create this cycle trail to a very high grade for thousands of people to enjoy. However, it's gone to Environment Court and the Environment Court have um, said that they won't allow it to go through the Upper Ariti. On the other side of the fence, Fish and Game is celebrating their victory. Southland manager Zane Moss says his organisation spent over $300,000 on the court battle because of the importance of the river to anglers. The Upper Ariti is, is one of our iconic fisheries in Southland, in fact nationally. Uh, some years ago we got a water conservation order to protect the fishery because it was so significant. Mr Moss says the river attracts thousands of anglers every year and they're often big spenders. And he says if the environment is tarnished in any way, it's likely they'll go elsewhere in the world. You only get to defend these areas really once. Uh, once it's gone, it's gone and those wilderness valleys are lost forever. Before the court battle, Fish and Game offered to fund an alternative route for the track through the Mararoa Valley. Mayor Tong says the council's reviewing its options and if there's a legal issue that allows an appeal, the council would consider fighting the case further. We are going to regroup. Um, obviously we need to look at the in entire um, decision of the Environment Court and from that we will assess the way we're going to be going forward. Mayor Tong says the court's decision could set a precedent allowing other interest groups to stop other cycleways. Ruby Spink, The South Today.